Ladies and gents, hello and welcome! My name, of course, is Open Potato. This is Democracy 4. We are, of course, playing as France, as the Bonaparte. That's right. We are on a quest for a 100%, 100% patriotic population. And to be honest, we're making some uh, some pretty good some pretty good progress. Uh, a couple of interesting couple of interesting things to consider. Uh, over the course of this episode, we would, of course, expect to have an election. We are a mere six turns away from an election. We do currently have a surplus, which is both remarkable and unexpected. Uh, there's also not very much wrong uh, in, in the world of France at this moment in time. There's a little bit of pollution, but that is caused by such an egregiously high level of GDP and such a poor level of the environment, which is, again, caused by the fact that GDP is through the flipping roof. So, there we go. Uh, we might want to see if we can try and boost pollution controls in order to in order to try and make the environment a little bit better. Alternatively, there are a couple of policies that we can and probably should introduce. Uh, reforestation is one of them. What was the thing? What was the thing that decreased pollution directly? I can't remember. There was definitely one... There was definitely one of these policies which, uh, which ended up decreasing pollution directly. New car subsidies, honestly, that that is probably something that we want to try and implement. Let's just implement it now. What the heck? Let's go for it. It's going to boost our GDP by a little bit and reduce respiratory disease and increase the environment. Also, sure, let's go for it. Okay, Patriots hated that. Whatever, I'm I'm okay. Just get me to the next turn so that we can get rid of that stupid that stupid music loop because flipping heck, it happens whenever you reload the game and it happened there. Anyway, Big, 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 big turn here. Massive sink in GDP. Not a huge fan of that. That is caused uh, primarily due to the uh, the flash crash here. Wealthy income, of course, goes down. But, of course, we don't have any wealthy people in the country, which is fine. Unemployment spikes again, to be expected. Egalitarian society has ended. And obesity has started, even though I increased the, the junk food tax. Really? I mean, that's not expected at all. What the heck? What the heck was that caused by? I don't actually know. Either way, the fact that the egalitarian society uh, has ended is, is a big old problem. What's our level of equality looking like at the moment? Not as high as it probably could be. Not as high as it probably could be. Uh, wow, we got a lot of, we got a lot of taxes. We got a lot of taxes that tax the wealthy people. Oh, we do actually have a couple of wealthy people. All right, 1.4% of the population. Kind of nice, I guess. It's a little bit of, a uh, little bit of progress there. What's the threat assessment telling me? Threat assessment's telling me that things are actually fine. We've not really focused on the law and order section of the game, uh, throughout, but that's okay. How's our productivity doing? That's the working week. That's productivity. Productivity is actually is actually in a fairly good place. Actually in a fairly good place at this moment in time. Respiratory disease and maternity leave could do with getting rid of maternity leave. Let's get rid of maternity leave. Doesn't actually cost us anything. This is just a statement on the productivity. All right, get rid of maternity leave. That's fine because that drags down productivity and we want to see if we can try and make ourselves as productive as possible. How many patriots do we have? A lot of patriots. A lot of patriots, almost up to 50% of the population. That is very, very, very good. Ethnic minority? Ethnic minority percentage is also very, very high, caused by a pretty high level of immigration. We need to see if we can try and get that down. We do need to see if we can try and get that down. The reason that we need to try and get that down is if we don't, we are going to be having a significant number of issues. There we go. Okay. Let's do that then. And border controls, yep, fine. Citizenship tests as well. Citizenship tests are up to the max already. I don't think that there's anything else that we can do short of building a border wall. Which, you know, we could do. We could do, but, uh, but I'm not entirely sure that that's something that we do want to do at this moment in time. Honestly, just... Give me, like, a cycling campaign or something. Yeah, a cycling campaign or something just to sort of fill the void here. I think we always get to these point in campaigns where we just end up implementing all of the transport policies because they're all, you know, 
very small, very inexpensive. Uh, I was going to say, I would entirely expect that we end up running a budget deficit uh, over the course of this turn, which is to be expected because we had a big old flash crash. And to be honest, it might even be worth us, it might even be worth us tweaking automated trading limits. Because at the moment, there are no limits. However, we could we could just place a total ban on... We could just place a total ban on, on things. Yeah, you know what? Crank it up to there. 16 political capital. Uh, actually, crank it up to here. 8 political capital. So we'll put some trading delays on. I think this is going to make the flash crash a little bit less likely to occur. No guarantees, though. Popularity is looking good. Uh, the flash crash situation is... It's not happened yet. Which which is good. Which is fine. Threat assessment is telling me that things are things are looking up. This is this is very very good. This is very very good. Again, the only thing that I'm really worried about right now is immigration. That is the only concern that I have. How much political capital would it cost? It costs forty political capital for a border wall. We can actually afford that. To be honest with you, we can actually afford that. Maybe we. Maybe we give it a shot. Okay, allow the merger to take place and then immediately head on over to the next turn. Credit rating has been downgraded, which is frankly ridiculous because the credit rating downgrade was caused by a flash crash. Pollution has actually ended, though, but I would fully anticipate that it ends up uh, coming back with a vengeance. But that's completely, completely fine. So, we've got how much political capital to spend? We've got six, 15 political capital. 15 political capital to spend. 15 political capital to spend on whatever we want, and then that will allow us to build the border wall next turn which is quite good quite 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 good also we could implement foreign investment restrictions which again would apply uh, a please appease the patriots we're up to 49 percent of the population now which is real good real 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 good we would still like to increase racial tension if that's an option uh profiling excuse me yeah, I mean, look, for 21 political capital, this does not very much. Not very much at all. Do we not have a... Do we not have another another policy which can make a, a bit more of an impact to racial tension? Ban foreign church services? I mean, honestly, that would, that would be good. That would be good for a variety of reasons. Increasing racial tension, increasing religious opinion, decreasing immigration... Let's do it. Let's max it out, actually. Yeah, so that's gonna make that's gonna make a fairly, fairly, fairly big difference. It did cost me 30 political capital, which I'm not exactly over the moon about, to be honest. Miners killed. Socialists don't like it. Everyone hates it. The fact that that happened right before an election, highly problematic, I would say, actually. Hi Look at this popularity. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. Okay. Membership of the ethnic minority group should start to go down. If we if we lower immigration, yeah, okay, so that is gonna make that is gonna make a a big old difference. Who's not who's not a fan of me? Not a fan of me. Somebody's not a fan of me because I did something that was not particularly good for the socialist opinion. Oh yeah, it was the miners. It was the miners strike. Uh, the miners strike. The miners being uh, the miners being killed. I, could I be a little bit more liberal? I guess I could be a little bit more liberal if I wanted to, but doesn't particularly matter. I could scale back facial recognition systems. Maybe. Scale that back. Sure. That gives us that gives us 19 political capital. 19 political capital to hopefully get to 40 next turn. Alternatively, we might just end up getting capped up at 38 over here, which would be pretty irritating, but if that's what happens, then that's what happens. All right. Look at this. Look at this. This is going great. This is going really, really good. This is going really, really, really good. Okay. Credit rating has been upgraded. Excellent. Just when we needed it the most, just before an election. Uh, unemployment is cruising back down to, to nothingness. The one problem that I am fully anticipating is that we will almost certainly have to deal with pollution and also it looks like that I wasn't able to improve 
the cabinet's opinion of me uh, enough to get enough political capital to get a border wall, which is a bit of a pain in the backside. Bit of a pain in the backside, but that is fine. That is fine. Right. Force, political, military, religious oath. We don't need to do that. We don't need to do that at all. It doesn't improve. It doesn't improve anything. Wealthy people would like if I invested in human cloning research grants. National anthems in schools? Absolutely, let's do that. Let's absolutely do that. School prayers would increase racial tension, which, again, is good. Is good. Well, it's, well you know, I should, I should caveat that. It's... It's not good, but it's good in the context of this playthrough. Again, because it increases membership of the, uh, of the Patriot group. In saying that, it is an election. I'm not particularly worried. We do have 61% popularity. Disposable income, original income. We're actually taxing people fairly reasonably. Nobody is necessarily super wealthy. But, yeah. That's okay. There are a lot of taxes for wealthy people, but hey-ho. Okay. Focus groups. We don't care about that. We don't care about that either. We don't really care about this at all, to be honest. Okay, so we're in... We're in sort of a liberal capitalist state here, which I think is... Which I think is completely fine. Let's go into electioneering and see what the heck is up. So, the industrial party? The industrial party actually has... It's got members. It's got members. It's got more members than I do, to be honest. We could end up... We could end up in a little bit of a... little bit of a problematic position here. Uh, I don't think I want to make any promises about anything. Who do we want to try and appease? Middle income voters? Too late for that. Motorists? Everyone is a motorist. I tell you what, let's see if we can try and make a commitment on the... On, uh, towards the motorists. Farmers? No. No. The Bonaparte. Look, we are, like, the least... We are the least, uh... We are the least donated to political party out there. You hate to see that. Oh, it's a disaster. Okay, go, go again. It's not a disaster. We need to be seen as a strong leader. That's kind of, that's kind of Napoleon shtick, you know? Okay, there is nothing. There is nothing that would appease to motorists. That would appease motorists here. Alright, you know, I think we're just gonna... I think we're just gonna take it, to be honest. We're gonna take... We're gonna take this election as it comes. This could be... This could be the shortest episode that the world has ever seen of Democracy 4. Alternatively, it might not be. Our campaign spending was way less than... Everyone else's. Oh my goodness gracious me. This is gonna be tight. Oh my lordy. Oh my goodness gracious me. I don't think I have... I don't... Uh, well... I don't think I've ever seen... I don't think I've ever seen a title or election, to be honest. That was 500,000 votes. That was almost a coalition. Interestingly enough, you can now get coalitions in... Um, in Democracy 3? Uh, Democracy 4... Democracy 3. Democracy 4, which is pretty interesting. But I've never had one. I've never had one. And that was probably the closest that we're gonna... We're gonna get to... Uh, we're gonna get to one of those in a while. So, there we go. Oh my goodness. Yeah, <laughs> We have no majority. We have no majority whatsoever. We have no majority whatsoever. Our popularity was actually at 45% there. That... That was close. I That was very, very close. That was very, very close. Alright, we need to increase uh, gender equality. Maybe that made all the difference, to be honest. Maybe that pledge made all the difference there. Okay. Gender Discrimination Act... Uh, sure. You know what? Advance that. We're going to increase that member membership of the liberal group, but that's fine. Pretty sure that's going to achieve our manifesto pledge just like that. Okay, 57%. 57%. What about patriot happiness? They don't like they don't like foreign aid. Yeah, we need to we need to get rid of foreign aid to be honest. We need to get rid of foreign aid. Let's let's just cut it. Let's just cut it completely. Let's get rid of it entirely. What else can we do to appease the patriots? Just complacency banning the cluster bomb as well was not a was not a good play in uh, in hindsight uh whatever whatever capitalists don't like it but i i don't really give a hoot about capitalist opinion 
we are subsidizing nuclear fission as much as we possibly can. Should we generously subsidize nuclear fission? Uh, maybe for an extra couple of GDP points. Sure, what the heck. Let's do it. Let's do it. I don't think that there's really anything else that we need to get. I mean, obviously the border wall would be would be great. Disease eradicated. Everyone is happy with me. Lovely. GDP is continuing to increase. Lovely. Unemployment has reached zero. Also lovely. Very, very happy with that. And it looks like my popularity has shot right back up. Again, this popularity thing is... I mean, problematic, to say the least. I don't think it really accurately reflects uh, reality. I don't think opinion can really shift that quickly. Maybe it can, but, you know, not not every turn, right? Like, look at look at some of these swings. That's, that's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Right, what's our max? Max political capital is still somewhat far off. Can we try and appease more socialists? Socialists don't like the fact that there is so much poverty. You know what? Let me actually... Let me actually fix that. Let me actually fix that. I can fix that with, uh... With food stamps, actually. Yeah, I can fix that with food stamps. And that's actually gonna have the dual effect. I mean, look, this, this policy does so much. It honestly, is one of the best. Capitalists don't even dislike it, which is just incredible. Anyway, it has the dual effect of increasing equality as well which is really, really nice, and also decreasing poverty by a very, very, very large amount. Very, very, very large amount indeed. Okay. Government subsidies for unions. Not really that bothered. Rural development grants. Not really that bothered. Technology grants. Yeah, technology grants, I guess, would be good to, would be good to do. Decreasing religious membership. It's nice. The threat assessment is saying that the Angels of Heavenly Justice are the only are the only group that is actually particularly bothered uh, in uh, at assassinating me, which is which is fine. You know, we can just about tolerate that, so uh, so that's fine. Okay, poverty, big, 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 big decrease there. Pollution is about to develop. I mean, look, there is nothing that we can do about this. There is nothing that we can do about this at all. Lifespan is looking really, really great. Population, yeah. Again, there's nothing that we can do about pollution. It, it's once it's once it's become a thing, it's become a thing, right? The environment is in just such a dreadful state, such an absolutely dreadful state because of GDP. And there's nothing that we can do about it. Like it's just a direct, a directly correlated effect, and it kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. It kind of sucks. Do we want to increase pollution controls? Honestly, you know what? Increase pollution controls. I don't care about losing a little bit of uh, a little bit of GDP. I have never seen I have never seen this level of, of consistent budget surplus, to be honest, in a country that was doing so poorly when the global economy was doing so poorly. Like this this really feels like an absolutely tremendous turnaround. And I'm kinda delighted, to be honest. Kinda delighted. Respiratory disease, yep, that ain't that ain't gonna be ending anytime soon. Uh let's see if we can increase the tobacco tax, honestly, as well. Everyone is going to hate it, though, so... Maybe we just get rid of it? Just get rid of the tobacco tax? Sure. Get rid of the tobacco tax. Let's continue to just, you know, fuel the respiratory disease nonsense that is continuing. Send in the troops. We have to. We have to appease the patriots. Okay, speaking of patriots, how are we doing? How are we doing? Membership of the patriotic group is good. Racial tension is decreasing. Because immigration has been, I mean, tremendously, tremendously taken out. Uh, let's scale this right back down to nothing so that we don't see any negative effect to racial tension. Again, it's very important that we try and keep that as high as possible so that we can try and grow uh, the Patriot membership as much as we possibly can. The other thing that we want to look at is ethnic minority membership which is slowly but surely decreasing because immigration is in a really, really, really low point at this moment in time, which is good for us. Very, very good for us, I would say. Uh, Neuron essential. We have got probably not too long. We've got 18 turns left. We've got 18 turns left to do... 
to do the rest of this patriotic, uh, the rest of this patriotic membership. What else, what else can we do? Oh, we gotta, we have to, we have to, we have to, we have to get this border wall. We have to get this border wall. Okay, excellent, 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 excellent. Productivity is being boosted. GDP is being boosted by the fact that we've now got a technological advantage. Egalitarian society has been reintroduced. Racial tension, uh, high levels of racial tension might make it difficult to, difficult to maintain, but that's fine. Ban face recognition in public. Uh, let's allow it. Oh, no, whoops. Fine. All right. That's, that's okay. That's okay. Environmental protests are not going to end up developing. Uh, I think that we're okay with that. Yep. So I've got, what, 10 political capital to spend. 10 political capital to spend this turn and still manage to, to build the border wall. I mean, it might be as simple as... Nah, not even, not even that makes a, a big old difference. Foreign investment restrictions costs 30 political capital. Patriotic membership increase would be super, super good. Honestly, I would love to start national service. That would be, that would be excellent if we could do it, but I don't think that we can. Uh, financial transactions tax. No. Not really. Proportionate fines. Ah, interesting. And that would only bring in 27 million euros. That sounds like a sadly small amount of money. If we got a state airline, if we did get a state airline, if we did get a state airline, patriotic membership would increase. That being said, what would we would get a state water company? A state water company doesn't quite have the same effect on patriots, apparently. Right. Right. I mean, there's a lot, there's a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of stuff here. I mean, maybe, honestly, it's as simple as a space program. That also increases patriotic membership. Same with the Mars program. We have to prioritize. We have to prioritize, right? We have to prioritize. We have to prioritize getting the border wall, right? We have to do that. We absolutely have to do that the drone strike act as well national service i would dearly love to do national service but we need to appease liberals and parents or we just shuffle you out farmers and liberal i mean honestly maybe we just try and get rid of maybe we just try and get rid of all of the liberals from our cabinet it might be as simple as that it might be as simple as that for political capital, and this would improve our GDP by a bit. Small business grants. Yeah, you know what? Sure, I'll do that. I'll do that. Let's do it. Let's do it. It's going to cost us four, four billion or whatever, but that's fine. Uh, you know what? Let's not spend any more political capital. Let's go to the next turn because there is. Uh, that's a little bit, a little bit of a pain in the backside. Uh, okay, the reason, the reason why I was quite content just to, you know, waste political capital was because our cap might have been increased, and it actually was increased from 44 to 46 there, so that's pretty good. Uh, so it means that we're maxing out here. Now, I'm going to implement the border wall here. Now, this is going to be very, very unpopular. Very, very unpopular with absolutely everyone. Let's max it out. Let's max it out. Let's absolutely max it out. Liberals absolutely despise it, which is going to be which is going to be pretty problematic, but that's fine. Water shortage is probably going to develop next turn. We've got a massive budget surplus, but that is fine. Still at 46 political capital to be honest. I need to reshuffle the cabinet. I need to reshuffle the cabinet. I can't I can't uh yeah, I can't deal with I can't deal with a liberal Self-employed and a capitalist. What about self-employed? Self-employed people don't exactly love me. Trade unionists and youth. Trade unionists don't like me. Capitalist, ethnic minority, no. Religious patriot. Honestly, religious patriot, I'll take you. But I might take you for the other thing, the other role. Capitalist, environmentalist, religious capitalist, religious motorist. Motorists don't dislike me, do they? Uh, they kind of do. You can just see there. Self-employed capitalist. Okay, so for the economy, it's actually quite important that we have somebody who's decent. Congratulations. P 
Patriot and a Capitalist. Honestly, Patriot and a Capitalist, welcome, welcome to the job. Welcome to the job. Okay, this is potentially going to end up costing our country a fair amount of uh, productive capability and uh, cash, but that's fine. We can just about risk it. Okay, threat assessment is telling me that things are good. Ban single-use plastic. Allow single-use plastic. Allow single-use uh, plastic. Liberals and capitalists do indeed like that. Liberals, we are going to need to hold on to every shred of opinion that the liberals still have of us. Positive opinion, that is. Health is decreased just by a little bit. Do we have pollution, actually? Is pollution a thing? Poverty is increased. Why is poverty increased? Obesity is going to become a thing. And that is fine. Okay, what's our max political capital now? Still only 44. Well, you know what? That's that's fine. We can at least get uh, the Drone Strike Act. That would be... That would be a step in the right direction. What else? What else to uh, to get the Patriots on board? The space program? Honestly, the space program is good. It's only going to cost us $4 billion at max for the space program, so let's do that. Let's absolutely do that. Okay, nice. And if we could get the Mars program as well, that would be... That would be swell. I don't think that we're going to be able to do it right now. Don't think so, anyway. Foreign investor tax breaks. Yeah, Patriots do not like that. So let's not... Let's not do that, shall we? Let's not do that. Yeah, okay. That's fine. So what's what's patriotic membership? Oh my goodness gracious me. Oh my goodness gracious me. It's at 85%. I don't know what I don't know what I did. It was the national anthems in schools, apparently. Apparently, that made that made all the difference. That's the membership, though. I don't know why that happened on on this turn. I mean, either way, the fact that we're at eighty percent is is really really good. Uh, prosecute, yeah. Again, prosecute, just because patriots like that. All right. An international criminal court has brought charges against me? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, that is not good. Liberals and foreign relations decrease. Okay, fine. Environmental protests have kicked off. That's that's okay. We can maintain that. We've got max level of GDP. Rare earth crisis. This is going to suck. This is going to destroy our technological advantage. But again, I think that we can weather the storm. My cabinet seemed to like me, so... As long as we can, as long as we can maintain this, we should be completely fine. The next thing that I wanted to introduce was the Mars program. That's right. The Mars program is in economy. There we go. All right, Mars program. It's going to cost up to eleven billion, but you know, France is going to have a base on Mars. That's right. That's right. Let's do it. Okay. Again, patriotic membership is is what is very, very important here. I actually think that we're going to hit 100% membership, which is kind of crazy to consider, but you know what? Pretty good. Pretty good. Egalitarian society has ended. Hmm. We've also got a little bit of a budget deficit going on right now, but that's fine. Because I can actually cut back. I can actually cut back on pensions a little bit. Cut back on pensions, 31 political capital. It ends up costing us an absolute arm and a leg anyway because of the, the pension situation. I maybe should have cut that back earlier, but to be honest, I didn't really need to. Refuse the ban on LED light bulbs. Right, ethnic minority membership is down, but is actually increasing. We need the border wall to, to come on stream a little bit uh, a little bit earlier. If it's all possible. Patriotic membership is up to 95%. There's no negative... There's no negative uh, factors now. Racial tension is sufficiently high that it actually increases membership of the Patriot group. Which is fine. Very, very okay with that. Uh, we do want to fix the egalitarian society thing. We do want to get that back. We've got a massive budget surplus now. Obesity is very, very close to, to developing. But that's fine. Okay. Equality, equality, equality. Equality, equality, equality. Do I want to ditch the sales tax? Do I want to ditch the sales tax? No. You know what? I don't actually want to ditch the sales tax. Why don't I just see if we can try and introduce something like... 
something like something like something. I don't know what actually increases equality. Increases gender equality, but I'm looking for equality equality. Diversity quotas in companies? Yeah. Would decrease racial tension though. Yeah, don't love that to be honest. What affects equality? What affects equality positively? Inheritance tax? Can we just boost this? I guess we just boost this, right? Sure. Boost that. Boost inheritance tax. I don't want to boost I don't want to boost anything that actually negatively impacts middle income people too too much. Yeah, cuz upsetting upsetting middle income people is uh, is a surefire way to ensure that you quickly lose an election. Right, Rare Earth Crisis is definitely going to have a negative effect on the technological advantage, but I suspect that we can still maintain a technological advantage, even with the Rare Earth Crisis. National team exits the World Cup. Oh no, Patriots really dislike that. Patriots really, really, really dislike that. Okay, global economy is still strong. I suspect that maybe it's not going to be as strong on the way down. Also, where the heck... Patriot and Capitalist. Patriot and Capitalist. Patriot and Religious. I mean, membership of the religious group is slowly but surely decreasing. Stem cell research. We can cancel stem cell research. This is not a big deal, to be honest. Cancel this. This is a complete waste of time, effort, and energy anyway. So, just get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Appease, uh, appease the religious group if we at all can. Capitalists love the fact that our GDP is this high, which is great. How's equality looking? Hopefully we offset, hopefully we offset the, the decrease in capitalist opinion by increasing inheritance tax. In fact, no, do inherit, do capitalists, no, capitalists don't even care about inheritance tax, which is kind of wonderful. Okay, you know what? Keep on accelerating the inheritance tax nonsense so that we can try and return to an egalitarian society state we're doing pretty well nine turns until the until the next election that's that's fine we got plenty of green bubbles but not the green bubble that i want not the green bubble that i flipping want capital gains tax is that perhaps no, I don't really want to upset capitalists right now, to be honest. Again, I'm looking for that magic 50 political capital number. If we're able to get that, then we're able to start, you know, national service, which is kind of cool. I guess, more than anything else. Trade union restrictions. I don't think that there is anything... I don't think that there is actually anything else which we can implement to improve Patriot membership. I think that we've got pretty much everything. Yeah, I, I think that that's honestly it. I think that that is honestly it. Uh, this maybe, yeah, maybe maybe this. But again, this this improves uh, patriot opinion as opposed to patriot membership. State airline? You know what? Sure, give me a state airline. Give me a state airline. Let's let's do it. Okay. Everyone likes that, apparently, apart from capitalists. Do we have 100% patriotic membership? We actually do. We actually straight up do. Okay, well, that's that's excellent. I didn't anticipate that it would happen that quickly. But apparently, apparently, it has happened. It has flippin' happened. Okay. Well, that's real good. That is real, real good. I, th this country is in a state of in a state of bliss at this moment in time. This is wonderful. State schools. If we just fund state schools more, will that just fix poverty? It'll go part of the way. It'll go part of the way to fixing poverty. So let's do that. Let's let's tweak state schools a little bit. But we've got no unemployment, no crime, barely any poverty, education, health, GDP, all maxed out. Speed limits, raised speed limits purely to appease the motorists, which is actually quite a large contingent of people. Everyone is a patriotic motorist. I mean, that is, that is, 
That is the truth. Patriotic, patriotic motorists on middle income. That is, that is, that is what everyone is. That is what everyone is. It's just that simple. Foreign investor tax breaks. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Political capital. God, we're just so close. We're so close. We're so close. 2.3, liberal, patriot. Yeah, liberals don't like... Liberals don't like me. Liberals don't like me. Retired socialist. Yeah, why... Could you just like me a little bit more? Could you just like me a little bit more? Can we try and appease... Can we try and appease some more... Uh, some more older people? Maybe we see if we can try and implement social care. Because I think social care, yeah, makes retired people like me. Capitalists don't like it, though. Welfare fraud departments. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Winter fuel subsidy. Honestly, I think this is exactly the right policy for us. Poverty decreases. Retired opinion increases. And retired opinion increasing is very, very important because it means that we can bump your political capital up just a little bit. Socialist opinion. What is socialist opinion? Socialist opinion is actually quite good. Quite good. We still have not returned to a state of, uh, of egalitarian society. But I'm optimistic. I'm optimistic. Public libraries, that's got too much of a small change to, to make a difference. Private schools, that's going to slowly decrease as well. Legal aid, we can increase that a little bit. But again, that's not going to make much of a difference. I guess we can, you know, chuck a few extra pennies towards legal aid. That's completely fine. A plane crash. Another. That's the second plane crash of our uh, of our playthrough, which is an irritation, uh, to say the least, and also a massive sadness. Cyberbullying is now a thing. That's fine. Poverty is. I mean, it's going to disappear. To be honest, it's going to disappear really, really, really soon. Forty-four maximum political capital. How? 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 How is this? How is this so low? And why do Patriots not maximally love me? Complacency mostly. They're still they're still irritated about the fact that the, the national team went out too early. Hmm. Well, you can't please everyone, can you? You can't please everyone. You can't please everyone. Yeah, no, I don't think there's anything I don't think there's anything else, to be honest. I do not think that there's anything else. National Anthem at the start of the news. I am honestly shocked that I did not get that already. Let's do that then. Absolutely brilliant. Excellent. Okay, we still have a massive, massive surplus. Uh, we also have a little bit of a threat assessment, which is telling me that things are not as good as they would seem on the surface. But to be honest, the um, the pressure groups don't really have much membership, so I'm not particularly perturbed by the whole thing. Everyone is a patriot. Everyone is a patriot, and everyone loves me. So why why do people still want to assassinate me? Why is that the case? DNA database allow the database. Sure, I shouldn't have done that. I should have done the other one. But I mean, it doesn't really matter. I don't think. I think I think we're still we're still very much okay. Patriot and capitalist. Okay. Capitalist opinion needs to be improved. As does religious opinion. Okay. Are there any policies that I can maybe just get rid of? Like organ donation, for example. Like organ donation. I can just get rid of organ donation. And that maybe will make a difference to religious opinion. Enough to just get me an extra couple of political capital. Because that's all that we need. We All that we need uh, in order to get a little bit of extra, a little bit of extra patriotic opinion is to introduce national service it's it's quite it's quite simple that would be that would be a tremendous a tremendous end point i think for uh, for this little campaign so if we can do that then that would be that would be excellent okay capitalist opinion capitalist opinion let's go into capitalist opinion diverted profits tax i can cancel this i can cancel this i can cancel this it just doesn't matter it just doesn't matter that much I don't know. I don't know how much money we're making from diverted profits. Actually, I should have checked. 
I don't think it was that much. It wasn't that much. It wasn't that much at all. 36 political capital. 44 political capital at max. Patriot. Religious. Again, look at this. Look at this opinion. Look at this flipping opinion that is improving. Look at this approval. I'm doing my best to try and appease absolutely everyone who we need to appease in order to try and get ourselves just those extra couple of political capital points. Property tax, can we scale this back a little bit? Scale this back. I don't know. We, we've got $5 billion to spend on this. $5 billion to spend on this. We're going to end up reducing equality, which I don't really want to do. But to be honest, an egalitarian society is not necessary. You know, this is Napoleon that we're flipping talking about, right? Do not sign the treaty. Patriots love it. Excellent. Environmentalists do not like it, but that's fine. Threat assessment is now back to completely under control. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. GDP decreases a little bit due to the flash crash. Uh, capitalists are going to be unhappy about that. Hate to see it, to be honest. Hate to see it. We're up to 46 political capital. Come on, potato. You can do it. Another couple of political capital points and we'll get ourselves over the line. All right. Religious, religious opinion. I am really just trying to... Really, really, really just trying to... Do everything that we possibly can to improve religious opinion here. Uh, Sure. Okay, we'll do that. Do that. Family planning. Scale out right down. All right. Is that gonna be? Is that gonna be enough to do it? I I don't know. We've only got like what four turns left. We've only got four turns left. So if we're gonna implement it, we have to we have to do it soon. Multinational tax evasion. Is it because I increased sales tax? It might be. We've got a little bit of a deficit, but that's completely fine. How? How, 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 how are you not giving me your full support? You are a true jerk hole. You know that? Maurice Louis? You are a true jerk hole. All I wanted to do was implement national service. All I wanted to do was implement national service. And here, here you are stopping me. Oh, boy. I don't think I don't think we're gonna get it. I don't think that we're gonna get it. I think we're close, but I don't think that we're gonna get it. Okay, stricter driving tests make no change. Don't know why motorists care about that. Presumably, motorists are already drivers, right? Multinational tax evasion. Okay, so everyone is evading tax, which is which is awful. Presumably, for our bottom line, there's a small budget deficit, but I suspect that that's gonna be properly reflected next turn. Free school meals. Let's bump that up to the max. So we can get rid of poverty. Again, not like it particularly matters, but hey-ho. 43 out of 46 political capital. Unless somebody's opinion improves of me dramatically over the next wee while, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get national service. We need... We need a few more bits. A few more bits of political capital. A few more points. It's all that we need... You know what we can implement this turn, though? We can implement foreign investment restrictions. Mm, but if we do that, capitalists are not going to like us. You know, I'm still a little bit optimistic that maybe we can implement... Uh, we can maybe implement it next turn. Maybe implement the national service next turn. But boy, oh boy, oh boy. It is 50 political capital. It's a lot of political capital. It's a lot of political capital. Okay, you know what? We just have to hope for the best. We just have to hope for the best. Environmentalists, really, really, really not a fan of all of my maneuvers recently, but that's fine. That is completely fine. What can you do? Okay, patriotic happiness is is just about maxed out. Like, it's just about as high as it can be. Patriotic membership is as high as it can be. We are, well, I want to say running a surplus, but we're not, run we're not running a technical surplus, but we are running, you know, the next best thing which is a very, very small deficit. Uh, we do have a couple of red bubbles. We do have a couple of red bubbles. The fact that we've got multinational tax evasion, I would consider problematic, uh, to say the very least. Also, public tax returns. Public tax returns no longer stop tax evasion. Oh, or maybe they stop tax evasion, but they don't stop multinational tax evasion. 
Hmm. Is it diverted profits tax? Does that do it? Multinational tax evasion. That is what it is. Multinational tax evasion. Let's get rid of it. And let's get ourselves back to... Uh, to surplus territory. Okay, you know what? We might get lucky. We may be able to increase our maximum political capital by four points this turn. It would be a pretty big increase if it did happen. But hey-ho. Patriotic membership, frankly, cannot increase by 10% because it's already maxed out. Poverty. Oh, there we go. That's a, that's a nice last turn there. We uh, we just saw poverty decrease to nothing. Health just, just came down just a smidgen. But to be honest, I'm not particularly perturbed by that. 44 political capital. 44 stinking political capital. Honestly, Maurice, I don't know why you're not a big fan of me. Because look at what patriots and religious people think of me. Look at what they think of me. They are hugely, hugely, hugely adoring. Hugely adoring. And in fact, the country at large is adoring. Uh, they love they love a little bit of Napoleon. What can I say? The French nation has been, uh, has been improved tremendously, actually. Been improved to a dramatic, incredible level. You know what we could do? Executive term limits. 35 political capital to do that. So, what happens, actually? What happens if I do that? So, it's one turn till the, uh, to the election. But if I just bump that up, then that gives me another four... That gives me another four turns, right? That may not happen, but it may happen. It may happen. Because this is my... This is my last turn. Gender equality, by the way. Oh, it's almost been met. It was met for the longest time, and then it wasn't met. Okay. Wait, there was there was an election. Oh, okay. Looks like that's not looks like that's not a thing. Looks like you can't just adjust the the number of uh, the number of turns just at the last moment, unless the game crashes now. In, in which case, that would uh, that would be that would be interesting. Okay, the Bonaparte. That's right. The Bonaparte has comfortably, handily won the election. I did try to manipulate democracy a little bit at the end there, but it didn't work out. For better or for worse, it didn't work out. Uh, the only patriotic policy, the only patriotic membership increasing policy that we didn't implement, as far as I'm aware, was the National Service, which again, we tried our best to do, but 50 political capital is a, is a, is a real challenge. Everyone is a big fan. Wealthy people, not a big fan. We did uh, we did welcome some wealthy people back as uh, as they were completely uh, completely vacant from the country when uh, when we first started the playthrough. The telecoms industry now exists because of course we actually managed to privatize the telecoms industry. If you'll recall, that was quite fun. Unemployment doesn't exist. Alcohol consumption also doesn't exist. All of those vineyards we put out of business, truly a tragedy. Foreign relations also don't exist. Private pensions do exist. GDP is maxed out, and it has been maxed out for a significant period of time, so it looks like the normalization algorithms, the normalization changes to make it more challenging to max out GDP. It looks like they still need to be tweaked, as I feel like I maxed out GDP pretty easily. I wasn't really paying particular attention to maxing out GDP. It just sort of happened. I didn't even introduce quantitative easing. I don't even know if that's a policy that you can introduce anymore. I, I don't know if that was uh, perhaps removed because it's, it's, because it's ridiculously broken or, or perhaps tweaked. I didn't see it. I didn't even look for it, to be honest, though. Currency strength, fine, great. The environment, yep, in a terrible, terrible, terrible place. Tobacco usage, up dramatically, uh, which has a whole bunch of negative effects. Respiratory disease, for example, very close to being maxed out there. Very, very close to being maxed out, but not much that I can do about that. I could have taxed it, but I didn't really want to. In fact, I think I got rid of the tax. Technology, really, really, really good place. In fact, we've got a technological advantage, which I seem to just develop in every single playthrough, which I feel shouldn't be that easy, perhaps, but hey-ho. Crime never exists, never exists in any society that I have, to be honest, because you just fund the police, and then that basically sorts itself out. Poverty, as well, doesn't exist. Very, very happy with that. High earnings did actually increase. Remarkable. Emigration decreased. We have basically no emigration, which is kind of nice. Tourism down. Fine. Uh, crime down. Health up. Education up. Equality down. Yeah, that was that uh, was a little bit of a, a little bit of a bummer. But to be honest, not a huge decrease. Not a huge decrease. Just enough of a decrease to be like, 
irritating because it ended my uh, ended my egalitarian society, which was a little bit of a pain in the backside. Foreign investment actually ended up increasing, which surprising. Uh, I could have implemented the foreign investment restrictions. Maybe I maybe I should have just towards the end there, but I mean at the end of the day, patriotic opinion was at a hundred percent. Did we get every single patriot's vote? Uh, d -d 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 patriots, patriots, patriots. We didn't. We didn't. The apathy levels have been turned up to maximum. Only 30% turnout, or round about 30% turnout. Let me have a little look. Yeah, literally 38% turnout. That is abysmal. What the heck happened? What the heck happened to, to democracy? Everyone, everyone just got fed up of voting. All right, that sucks. Uh, population increased a little bit, which is fine. Gender equality. Gender equality was up, but it wasn't... Uh, I don't think I met my manifesto commitment there, actually. But, uh, but you know, we certainly we certainly did a good job. I think the, the Napoleon Bonaparte was, uh, was pretty comfortable. Pretty, 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 pretty darn comfortable. I think this was us over here. In fact, I'm pretty sure this is us over here. Uh, just towards the end of the... Just towards the end of the playthrough. So, as you can see, you know, a pretty liberal, mostly capitalist society. Uh, I didn't really feel like we were particularly liberal. But again, you know, we didn't really faff around with the law and order area. And it's the law and order area that really implements your... Uh, really, uh, really affects... Your, uh, your liberal versus conservative rating. So there we go. Anyway, folks, on that note, we're gonna end this little uh, we're gonna end this little playthrough. I'm of course gonna be playing more Democracy 4 as we go forward, but it'll probably only be when there are significant changes. As I think I've pretty much done everything that needs to be done. If you've got any suggestions for campaigns that I could run, then do please let me know in the comments down below. Thanks as ever to the fantastic support over on the Patreon that uh, help makes videos like this possible. Also thanks to Banana Nana and C Senpai for being the two. $25 plus tier patrons, and also Aurelio for being the other $25 plus tier patron who I excluded from that original list because I completely forgot. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.